Hey guys, welcome back to the video. I was a little busy because my final exam, that's why I didn't post any video. Now in this video, I'm going to talk about the upcoming S11 series or maybe S20 series or whatever the name is. Last year, Samsung released the 10th generation phones that is S10 series. That's why we initially expected 2020's flagship device will be called Samsung Galaxy S11 series. But IC Universe claimed the next year marks a new beginning for Samsung and their next flagship name will be probably Samsung Galaxy S20. Same thing we did with its own flagship. First of all, there will be a massive change in the design of Galaxy S20 series. We are pretty confident we know what the Galaxy S20 will look like. There will be four major design changes with every device of the S20 series. First, a rectangular big rear camera module, similar we have seen in the Galaxy A51 previously. Second, centered punch hole selfie camera. There will be a single camera for selfie which will be placed in the top middle. Third, no headphone jack. It hurts but as far the leak suggests, S20 will be the first phone of Ace lineup without the 3.5mm headphone jack. Fourth, no big Z button. S10 series had a big Z button on the left side of the phone but this time there will be no dedicated big Z button. This time Samsung won't release the S20e and cheapest version of the series will be named as just S20. Other two are S20 Plus and S20 Ultra. As the render suggest S20 could have a curved display, it will not have a physical side mounted fingerprint scanner as like S10e. That means S20e could have an in-display fingerprint sensor. It's possible that S20 will have an optical fingerprint scanner, not the ultrasonic one, as it is the cheapest phone in the series. Another phone is Samsung Galaxy S20 Plus. It looks similar to the S20, but it will be slightly bigger and feature a more advanced rear camera system. Finally, the high-end version of S20 series called S20 Ultra will have the biggest rear camera bump but the alignment of the lenses in the rear camera module will be different from S20 and S20 Plus. The S20 lineup will be powered by Qualcomm Snapdragon 865 chipset in the US and China. On the other hand, Exynos 990 will be used for other countries. Ultra variant will be available up to 512GB storage and an insane 16GB RAM option. The S20 series will launch with Android 10 along with the One UI 2.0 right out of the box. As you can see, the S20 series will have an insane camera feature. It can record 8K video at 30fps. They also have the world's first 100x hybrid zoom. And obviously the main camera sensor will be 108 megapixel, but it might be different from the one on the AMI Note 10. Samsung could use a custom sensor with superior quality compared to the sensor used on the Xiaomi phone. But unfortunately it looks like only the Galaxy S20 Ultra variant will feature that ultra high megapixel sensor. But it doesn't mean the camera quality of other phone will be bad. Other than the camera, Samsung Galaxy S20 series will feature a 120Hz display refresh rate that is really cool. Samsung display is already world class. If they use 120Hz refresh rate in the display, it will be buttery smooth. Another feature called the Quick Share will be available in the S20 series. Quick Share is similar to the AirDrop that is used to transfer photos, videos and other files from phone to other compatible device. Finally, talking about the price. S20 series will be very expensive compared to the last year of S10 series. As you can see, S20 5G will cost 900 euro and the high-end version will cost 1300 euro or even more. And the 4G version will be about 100 euro less than the 5G. Samsung will announce these devices on February 11 in San Francisco at Unpacked 2020. I'll update you as soon as the device come out. So subscribe for further update also in the next one. Peace.